previously on my witchy home renovations one year ago. Just over a year ago, I was showing you the first stages of my attic renovations. The amount of cleaning and dusting, oh, it was atrocious. I've never seen anything quite like it. There were many things to repair, an electrical, wiring, chandeliers, lights, floorboards, nails, old coffin nails, all sorts of things I was finding up here. But we will get into that as the season moves along. It is officially spooky season of 2023, today on July 12th. Happy haunts. Welcome to New England. So one of the first things that I had to remove from the attic was this big ugly box. <laughs> I stripped it down with my beloved and we took the breakers off because I found electrical wiring inside of it. And then I had so much cleaning to do. The amount of black dust in this attic is just simply atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> we have done so much in the past year. My entire attic has transformed and then I have floors below me now that I'm still working on. So I'm going to be replacing this chandelier. Sorry, you guys can hear the traffic. I have my windows open because it's so hot right now. So this is one of my corridors. On the third floor, you've got the cellar, basement, the first floor, the second floor, technically I call it the third floor, my attic, up those stairs, and then my tower, which is the fifth floor. Um, so in here I have so much work to do, but I'm kind of going for like a, an Elmira look with my house. I love her great auntie's house. folks run the hardware store and we got lots of paint oh dude too bad they've done on the bank uh i'll be right down let's do it <laughs> Just beautiful. I like that old gothic, spooky, haunted essence. And technically, I am living in a haunted 1800s Victorian gothic revival. So let me show you around this corridor, though. Not all of them. The full house door comes uh, closer to the end of the series. So down there, that is going to be my VHS goth room. I've already got the wallpaper decided and um, I'm handcrafting my own witchy, spooky, uh, horror kind of chandelier for that room. So it's quite a small room and you can hear the traffic right now because I have the windows open. I've started unpacking. A lot of my VHS tapes and my old retro TVs, I also collect them. And all this is going to go, all this wood or be covered more than likely. Um, take a good look at it here. There. Yeah, so I'm thinking black gothic wallpaper. And I'm going to hand make a gorgeous chandelier. That's going to be like some kind of horror spooky theme. So you're in for a big surprise at this one. <laughs> so what you see here are some of my stained windows. This is one of my largest. I have more in the bathrooms and my office. 
And these will stay. They're so beautiful. There's a few cracks, and I'll show you right here. I can kind of see some of those cracks in there. So I do have a lot to take care of and fix. Now right here, you can see where they had old picture frames. I think they said they lived here for around 50 years. All of this wallpaper is just coming off everywhere, all the way down to the next floor. So I am replacing all of the wallpaper and I'm not sure if I wanna do like the black gothic, like what I'm doing in my VHS room, or if I wanna do something more New Orleans style. So kinda of give you a good look here at that. big dressers out of here. Got that one down, that one, that one, and that one. And we're working on taking that down as well. taken down. So there's the box that we took down. finish later or tomorrow with everything I'm sorting through.
I know that my home is haunted, and I have seen the ghost. I have pictures of them, and I have evidence, and I have recorded them speaking as well. Just said haunted. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Did you get that? I do have documentaries with all of that in it. Everything you're seeing here is before Halloween of 2022. I am currently sleeping in my attic. My bed is up there and it is so blissful, especially during the thunderstorms. But when I first moved in, I had some rather interesting nights with the ghosts in my home. Much like Elvira, I would say. Of two different sizes for different purpose. I always have to have my balls of tethering and this. Okay, so good.
is it? Okay, so now we are putting the shelves in here so I can put books and um, like all this stuff away. See, it just all needs to be put away. So much stuff needs to be put away. Okay, so I got these lights off of Amazon and it's time to put them up. Okay, so I'm having him hold these. So I'm having him hold my bundle for me because it is about a six foot tall bundle. It smells amazing. Just like a lot of flowers, different things. I'll get a better shot of it. Oh, um, it's hung up. Okay. Thank you, honey. Let me just kind of give them an idea of how big this is. It's huge. 
All right, so I'm using this ball of twine that I got from Home Depot, but you can order them on Amazon and Hobby Lobby, and I just keep taking it around and around. Can I bend? Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so this is some of the salvaged wood from that big ugly box that we took apart. And I'm gonna build a table out of it. But I have to hammer these nails in first. My husband getting out some more of the nails from the salvaged wood. It is so hot up here. You know how the nail is Oh, I know, they can, they're really hot when I pulled them out, too. You gotta think about the settlers. You know, back in the 1800s, people, did, they didn't have air conditioning. So they dealt with the heat, just as I am now. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Look, my husband finished separating all of the wood doors, everything we salvaged from that big ugly box. <laughs> it was right on the other side of the stairs. So now we're going to build a beautiful bed here. I'm going to have tons of vines and greenery, roses and lavender. And that entire wall is going to be nothing but books, witchy books. Maybe some stuff on physics too, but I usually have those in my office. Quantum physics is a thing. I love it. All right, time to get to work. Okay, so I decided to salvage some of the plywood, but it's not long enough. I don't know, I could actually, well remember I'm going to put the boards on the top, so it will cover the gap, if I just want to temporarily use this. So take it flush to the end. So we got to hammer out all these nails. And it's an um, eight foot table, which I usually do at least 10 feet. But since this is all salvaged material, then I have to make do with what I have. I can add um, more table to it later. Way over there in the corner, I think I might use that as the stand to the table. We are drenched in sweat. It is so hot. Oh my God. And don't think that these nails limit me because I build and I build and I build. Even if I have nails. Alright, let's get back to it, huh? Okay, so. Um, I got more of these sheets piled up and I'm going to get those out of here. Um, I'm about to go through this and make the frame for a gorgeous bed. And I vacuumed, and I vacuumed. And then all that, and I've still got some more clean to do around here. Let's see. And my hair is soaked with sweat. It's like I just got out of a shower. I moved these 12 pieces of plywood huge and getting started now and my beloved is putting some wood in the table for me which I usually do this I didn't help okay literally been moving these sheets down nearly 50 steps down and then 50 steps back up so, okay, now that all of those like 
15 foot sheets are moved down 50 stairs each sheet and back up 50 stairs. Oh my god. Anyway, so this is what I want to use that was left in this house. I think it'd be the cutest little witch's cupboard. So what I'm gonna do is make it the centerpiece to my table, but I might it has wheels on the bottom of it too. So I thought about making it a part of my astrology and tinkering area up here, but I don't know. I think it's, I really need a good base to the table. So this might be the best because it has wheels. Creatures, vampires, it's incredible to me. And I, I will never care what anyone thinks. I give any of you motherfuckers back in my way, you are surely live to regret that! <laughs> 